how do you ask the seller are you going to buy subject to without confusing them? Okay, Matt, well, have this, think about this conversation for a second. If you've got a house listed on Zillow and I call you up and I'm talking, I say, Hey Matt, you know, I see your house on Zillow. Tell me about it. I already see a little bit, but I'm just really trying to engage them in conversation. And they, so they start talking and they tell me all about their house. And then I'm going to try at various points in there to ask questions that find out about their situation. Now, let's say, Matt, that you uh, are in the military. You just bought your house last year. You didn't put anything down. You're the, the seller of the house at the time paid a lot of the closing costs. The house is worth 200000 You bought the house for two hundred. dollars You financed two ten. dollars Okay. And now you're getting a transfer. You're getting transferred across the country to another base. You owe 205. The house is worth 210. You got zero equity. You can't afford to pay a realtor. You've got to get this thing sold. You got to be across the country in 30 days. And let's say where you are, the market's not super hot right now. You, 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 you put a FISBO sign out in the yard a month ago when you first got your orders and you haven't had any bites and you're getting desperate because you can't afford to pay for housing where you're going to be. And then on this house too, what do you do? Well, that's probably going to come out in the conversation or I've got prop stream up. I know what you owe. I know when you bought the house, uh, I know the situation. I'm going to pitch this to you and I'm going to say, Hey Matt, you know, you owe too much on the house for me to make you a cash offer. That would have to be somewhere in the 130, 140 range. And I know you can't take that. But if I have a way where I can pay full price for your house, I can pay what you owe, you can get down the road. Would you like to hear about that? What are you going to say? Well, yeah, I need to sell my house. And I say, what if I could make the payments for you until I can get a buyer in that can get new financing? Do you think that might be something that would work for you? And you might say, no, it won't. Uh, I don't want to rent my house. And then I have to explain, no, we're not going to rent it. We're actually going to buy it, but we're just going to continue to make payments on your loan. That's already in place. We can buy it very quickly. Uh, there won't be any cost involved. Normally a seller pays some closing costs and some other stuff. But if we do it this way, you won't have to pay anything. And we're just going to make those payments until our buyer can get new financing. Is that something that might interest you? Well, maybe. Okay. So you continue the conversation. That's how we introduce subject to to 99% of the sellers.